Alright guys, so if it's a little noisy, it might just be because of the wind. I don't know if you can hear it. I closed the door all the way. I just had the car running, so I just don't want any fumes in here. So I'm just going to let the door sit open for a minute. But, so this is how to make your DIY oil catch can out of like a little thermos. Um, you preferably want the one that has the hole in the top that you can just twist with your finger. Because that would be the smallest diameter for your filter. Um, this breather filter was probably the most expensive thing. It was like 16 bucks. Then this itself was like, well, it was 14.99, so 15 bucks. But if you already have one, which I do, but I wanted to be specific on what I bought, then you don't even need that. Um, the next, you'll need some steel wool. This steel wool pretty much acts as a baffle for the oil and all the toxins to soak up in so that when the air does release from the filter, it's not releasing really shitty, crappy um, well, fluids and stuff. Uh, and then other than that, you need taps. Um, this is a 3 8 MPT tap, and then I have another one in there, which is a half inch or er, 1 8 tap. Now, um, preferably you want to use the same, but I I had this already. I had to purchase this to uh, for smaller fittings for the hose. Then you're gonna need maybe like four feet of hose. I already have some hose everywhere laying around, so I didn't. I only needed to buy two feet just to be safe. Um, that was like two bucks I think other than that like just your basic tools wrenches you know vice grips just holes you're gonna oh, I top with the drill you don't have to but I prefer to and yeah and then just some uh, liquid Loctite so that you don't really leak from the threading all right so I'm gonna get ready and all right guys so I drilled the hole um, and if you can tell from the video it really fucked with it because it's such a thin metal so um, I might be substituting the taps for a uh, <laughs> like um, like an adhesive like JB Weld um, I'll see if I can tap this okay, guys, I'm gonna attempt to tap this normally I would just use a drill bit yeah I don't think this is gonna work this again <laughs> Yeah, it's such a cheap metal. Um, oh, maybe, maybe I got it. No, definitely not working. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to just JB well. Oh, okay, I, I got a little bit here. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to JB weld it. <laughs> There's no other way around that. Um, yeah, see how fucking shit this is. Yeah, if you're gonna do this, try to get a thicker metal thermos. Uh, you know what? Let me uh, let me try this. It seems to be screwing in. Let's throw some. Uh, Red sealing on there before I go too far with it. I'm grab my adjustable because I don't care about these threads or these. Well, it's fucking tightening in on that. I'm probably just gonna leave it like this and then just like gasket with some thread. Um, not thread with some. Uh, JB Weld. Yeah, it's not really working too well, but I feel like if you just put JB Weld on there, it'll clean it right up. Like, it's it's tightening down on it. But it ain't the prettiest. Sorry if I'm out of the uh, frame. Yeah, I went with this design because too much man's going to be a little bit. But yeah, so I'm going to put some JB Weld along there, and that should clean it up. And then next step. Sorry that I'm not really recording this very well. It's, I'm just, it's like my first time doing this too. Um, I drilled it. As you can tell, like it's rounded off, so it was a little hard to uh, get it straight, but whatever. Next, you're just going to line the tap up. Normally, you want to actually use the proper shit to tap it, but I'm a cheap fuck. And I'm just going to tap it like this. 
it does seem to work with the taps, but I suggest going over it as well with some like JB Weld and shit. Come on. I think the inside is the part that is more threading. So I'm just trying to look in there and just make sure that the tap's going. Also don't want to kill the threads on your tap. So just be gentle with it. But also you're gonna have to add a little pressure if your thermos is like mine. So you can see from the middle it's starting to protrude. Or is it just stripping? Probably both. Ah, come on. Maybe I need stripping at this point. Well, it's in there now. You can see that. This threading out is not the nicest, but it did. Just want to clear some of the crap that's in there. And grab your other tap or your other um, fitting. Um, sorry, I didn't mention the fittings are. What are they again? What are these? Can't remember. Is that so this is yeah, yeah yeah. So this is half or um, one eighth NPT, and this is three eighths barb. So just gonna. Yep, that one's screwing in as well, which I'm quite surprised about. But I'm still, like I said, I'm still going to add some uh, some adhesive or something there so that it's more, not going to blow oil in my whole fucking clean engine, but it will not so clean at the moment, but I don't know what I mean. Then just thread it in. It's not going to be the prettiest, but deal with it. So I just recommend getting a thicker metal thermostat or thermos, sorry. Now there's other things you can do, but I felt like the thermos would be my best option because I thought it was more readily available for me, but I was wrong. Or was I wrong? It actually took me a minute to find this one. I had to go to like three different stores. It's pretty bad. But yeah, there you go. So there's that. And then next, you're going to grab your uh, fucking, what is this shit called? Steel wall. Take it out. Crunch it up a little, pull it apart a bit. So this just acts as a baffle. You can make your own baffle, but like, if you're going complete DIY, like this is probably your best bet to use. Just open it up a bit, pull it apart. Once you get about this far, where it's somewhat transparent, you got most of the like these pulled apart, then you might want to go ahead and throw it in there. Just remember, if you throw it in, you can't get it out. So yeah, just shove it in there. Grab something like a big screwdriver to help it get in there. No puns intended, because YouTube is getting a little strict on their content. There you go. So that's in there. I'm probably going to throw another one in there. As you can tell. Is that. I'm probably throw one more in just to be safe. And then I'll... Um, Alright guys, next step. Grab your little uh, crankcase breather filter thing. Um, this K&N one, it has two different sizes. So if you can see that in there. But all you do is you pull this out and you turn it around. And it's a half inch. Or if you want this size, it's three eighths. So next step, put that on the, to the top. Only if you want to make a breather or a ventilation one. I recommend doing this version of it because if you have it go back into your um, 
what is it called? If, it, if you have it go back into your oil t tank, your oil pan, whatever. Wow, this this is wow K N really. So K N they really fucking suck. This is just stripping out. I can't believe that. Anyways, so yeah, I do this one because I don't want to have the really bad oil from the uh, well from the catch can. Like the whole purpose of it is to catch the oil that's bad and not healthy or not good for your engine. So what I'm doing is I'm just removing that and I'm just letting it go into the air, which is not the smartest thing in the world, but it works and uh, you can get in trouble for these. So just know that and check your laws in your states. So yeah, put that on and then you're just gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna screw it in. There you go, you got yourself a really ghetto looking catch can. See if I can crank this down some more so it doesn't stick as damn high. Yeah, it's going a bit. <coughs> yeah, this defeats the whole purpose of the MPT taps. MPT taps are supposed to uh, be thread locking. And they taper down as you tighten it, so don't tighten too far. But the fact that I can just do that is really not good. So yeah, so that's how you make it. And then stay tuned for my next video on how to install it. Thanks for watching, guys.